Good morning, my dear students. I really miss you so much. Uh, hope we can meet together soon, inshallah. Uh, let's uh, resume what we have covered yesterday. Uh, we have covered uh, factoring the trinomials. You remember this? Now, uh, take an example in order to uh, clarify more what we have covered yesterday. Here, he's um, asking factor the polynomial, the polynomial or trinomial, it doesn't matter. So, x squared plus 13x plus 30. So, I will ask myself, first thing, does these three terms have a common factor or a common number or common variable? No, it seems no. Because if you see here x squared and here is x, but here there is no x. Here there is no number I can take. Yani. So there is no common numbers or variables in these three terms. And there are three terms. This expression has three terms. It doesn't have uh, two terms like the binomials, differences of two squares or differences or sum of two cubes. So I will go with the fourth method we are studying now factoring trinomial trinomial it means three terms okay then as long as i see this uh, four okay x squared plus 13 x plus 30 i will immediately open two brackets immediately open two brackets okay uh, then i will write in the first bracket in the first term in each bracket x and x yani i will write in in the first two brackets the first term in each bracket x and x then as I told you yesterday we will skip the middle term or the second term and go for the last term in the plus 30 then I check the sign is it a positive sign yes it's positive sign so what does a positive sign of the third term mean it means that the two brackets will have the same sign of the middle term or the second term. Yani as long as I have here a positive sign, a positive sign, so I will write in both brackets, which I opened, the same sign, they will take the same sign of the middle term. Yani here I will put here plus and here plus. Then I will go in my rough paper and make a table like this. I will write all the factors of 30 all the factors of 30 the last term yani i will write here all the factors of the last term here the factor the last term is 30 so i will write down all the factors of 30 1 times 30 2 times 15 3 times 10 and 5 times 6 then i will add these two factors together you will see why i will add these two factors together 1 plus 30 give me 31 2 times uh, 2 plus 15 gives me 17 3 plus 10 gives me 13. 5 plus 6 gives me 11. Le I will see which of these answer, which of these answers, the four answers I, I, get, I got, is having the same answer like the middle term uh, or the second term of this expression, 13. So I will look the first, second, third, ah, the second. So we, what are the factors? The sum, if I add them together, the sum will be 13. Uh, 3 and 10. So I will put here 3 and I will put here 10. It's very easy. Let's take another example. Maybe it will clarify more. Here, x squared minus 7x plus 12. And he's saying factor. Factorize. Factorize. I see it's trinomial. They don't have any common numbers. So I will immediately open two brackets. I will write in the first term of each bracket x and x. Then skip the second term for a while then go for the last term the last term it has a positive sign so the two brackets will have the same sign of the middle term as long as the third term this is rule as long as this the third term has a positive sign so the two brackets will have the same sign of the middle term yani i will put here minus and i will put here minus then i I, I write down in my rough paper a table. I will draw a table and then go and a, write down all the factors of 12. All the factors of 12, the third term. Yani I will write down all the factors of the third term. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. All the factors. What, what are the numbers which I multiply them together? Give me 
12. Oh, I found out that 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. There is no other uh, factors uh, if I multiply them together will give me four, uh, 12. So these are only these are the only factors which I multiply them together give me uh, 12. Then on the other side of the table I will a uh, I will calculate the sum the sum of the factors 1 plus 12 equals 13. 2 plus 6 equals 8. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Type. Then I will look in the middle term. I will look at the middle term. It has a 7. Yani it's written 7. So I will check which of these two terms when I add them together. The answer was 7. Ah, 3 and 4. So I will write here x minus 3 and x minus 4. I hope uh, you understand it well. Um, inshallah tomorrow we will uh, we will uh, resume our exercises and uh, examples for uh, factoring of polynomial we will continue tomorrow inshallah if you have any uh, questions please feel free to ask me inshallah see you tomorrow uh, take care and have a good day